What a message sent by the Milwaukee Bucks to the rest of the league. This was an absolute beatdown of the Oklahoma City Thunder, a team that came into this matchup as the number one seed in the West, a team that had won four games in a row, one of the best offenses in all of basketball, coming into this one with the third best offensive rating. And what did the Bucks just do to them, guys? They made light work of them. The Bucks destroy the Thunder 118 to 93. They hold one of the best offensive teams to under 100 points. Is this defense stifling? Offense did not miss a beat. And this was just a tremendous performance and effort by the Bucks, who have won four of their last five games. And they are starting to heat up as we get closer and closer to playoff time. This is looking like a very, very competent and dangerous team one that's going to be tough to beat in a seven game series we're going to talk about it do me a solid everybody hit a like on the video and smash that subscribe button down below for more bucks and nba content just like this so the bucks this was a team that understood the assignment at home against the thunder getting middleton back in the lineup this was a one-point game at halftime, and then we saw that defense that has been so much better as of late, holding OKC to just 17 points in the third quarter. Bucks outscoring the Thunder 34 to 17 in that third quarter frame. Chris Middleton with his second career triple double in this one, guys. 11 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. How about Giannis? 30 points, 19 rebounds, four assists. Damian Lillard who started off slow, did not matter. The Bucks were still clicking, even though he didn't get it going offensively. He finishes game with 11 points, six rebounds, five assists. Brooke Lopez with 14. Bobby Portis with 15 from off the bench. Connaughton with 11. Crowder with 10. As seven Milwaukee Bucks players finishing this game in double figures. And then the defense, man, cannot say enough good things about the defensive effort holding the thunder to 36.7 percent from the field 23.3 percent from deep the milwaukee bucks we got to give this team a lot of credit and we got to give doc rivers a lot of credit because many people were quick to say this was going to be a failed experiment i definitely had my doubts with the way it started but doc rivers has these guys playing tough and it's their defensive intensity that's really stood out to me because this is a Milwaukee Bucks team, guys, that has now held opponents to under 100 points eight times a season. They've done it seven times over the past two months, and they've now held both the Nuggets and Thunder, top two Western Conference teams, to under 100 points in their recent matchups, and they won both of those games. So this is a Bucks team. They are not playing around, and when they're at full strength, when Chris Middleton is playing, Dame, Giannis, when they're all in the lineup, Brooke Lopez, this is going to be a tough team to beat. As you look at Milwaukee, they are absolutely locked in right now. They are connected. They are playing good, unselfish basketball. Their offense has been smooth, and that's just helped their defense. Because they're able to play very, very smoothly offensively, you know, it's allowed them to preserve their energy, and that is why we've seen them absolutely lock down opponents with their half-court defense. So the Milwaukee Bucks, they are getting it done, and this is a team that is holding on to leads. And I do want to point this out because Milwaukee, they had a tough time holding leads last year, especially in the playoffs when they got ousted in the first round by the Miami Heat. The Bucks are now 41-4 and when they're up by 10 or more this season, which is very, very crucial, obviously, as we approach playoff time. So the Bucks, they're going about their business, even though they didn't have Giannis. I want to give them a lot of credit, too, in that Thursday night showdown against the, or Wednesday night showdown against the Celtics. No Giannis. They made that a game. They were getting blown out. They battled back. They made that one interesting. So Milwaukee, you got to credit the effort on both sides. This has just been a very, very good, fun team to watch and they've been playing some great basketball now guys before we continue on with this video i do want to announce that today's video sponsor is bet us and bet us is an awesome sports book where you can bet on the nba i've been doing a lot of march madness betting as well but when you want to bet on the nba anything basketball bet us is your spot guys you can bet against the spread take a team straight up you can look at a futures bet if you want 
If you think the Bucks are going to win the championship, put some money on that. BetUS will give you an 125% bonus, not only on your first deposit, but on your first three deposits up to $2,500 with the promo code JOIN125. Sign up for BetUS and help support the channel as BetUS is a proud sponsor of this channel. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins. So, you know, the Bucks have been doing a much better job, especially post-All-Star break. And you look at what they were able to do to the Thunder again. One of the top offenses in the NBA. Chet Holmgren, non-factor, limited him to six points. Shea Gilzer's Alexander. Alexander, MVP candidate. A lot of people have Shea winning the MVP. They held him to 12 points. So this was an offensive struggle from an OKC Thunder team that makes it look so easy on the offensive end. And the Milwaukee Bucks, this is a team that they are gearing up. They are looking better and better as these games go on. They're not going to catch the Celtics for the number one seed, but they've now separated themselves from the Cavaliers locking into that two seed i think the bucks are easily going to be able to hold on to that two seed so that's going to mean they're going to have their opponent be decided by the playing tournament but the bucks 28 and 7 at home they're 31 and 14 in the conference the milwaukee bucks when they're healthy it's going to be tough to contest against this team and the more these guys are getting reps under doc rivers in the regular season the more it's going to help them come playoff time because Milwaukee, we know it's about the playoffs for this team. That is why they made the big blockbuster trade for Damian Lillard. And the fact that they were able to win this game convincingly with Lillard and Middleton combining for just 22 points, that's scary, guys. Because when this team is clicking, you know Giannis is going to get his. You know Dame is not going to be quiet in a playoff series. Chris Middleton is going to get better and better, you know, more healthy, you hope, over these last games of the regular season as he gears up for a postseason run that big three is going to be very very dangerous to deal with so Milwaukee the fact that they are winning games and limiting teams with their defense that is a really good sign because we know how explosive and how electric this offense can be like I said you know Lillard and Middleton did not score a lot of points, and the Bucks still won this game by a landslide, still put up 118 points. So that just tells you that they got other guys who can make a difference. You know, guys like Crowder, Connaughton, Portis, like these are guys that can make a difference. So this Bucks team, they are looking complete. They are looking deep. And now that they got their stars aligning, this is going to be a tough team. And this is going to be a team you got to look out for in the East. Obviously, we're all looking at that potential Bucks celtics conference final showdown. We were all anticipating it last season. We didn't get it. We might very well get it this season. So just wanted to do a bit on this Bucks team, guys. They have been looking really, really impressive. Let's see if they can keep it up and let's see if they can close out the season strong. Let me know your thoughts on this team, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. That is it for me. This is Lucas signing off. As always, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you all again in the next one.